man. I've been out in the sun studying for polymers all day, and I'm just so thirsty. Yeah, bro, try this Gatorade. It's got liquid electrolytes in it. All right. Really nice and refreshing. Liquid electrolytes are created by dissolving salts, which become ions, into a liquid. Just like when you salt the water before you boil your pasta. These ions give the liquid very high conductivities, which make them suitable for electronic applications like batteries. The problem with liquid electrolytes is they leak. And due to their high flammability, can often ignite or explode. A new electrolyte material called gel polymer electrolytes, or GPEs, have been developed to solve these problems. How do we make them? First, we start with an electrolyte material. Then, we add a polymer solution. Polymers are long chains of repeating molecules. Then, we add a crosslinker. Now, the crosslinker will help connect all the long polymer chains to form a solid network, or a polymer network. After that, we'll have to expose it to UV light. The resulting product is a conducting gel that is useful in novel properties. The structure and properties of GPEs are much like that of Jello. Unlike conventional liquid electrolytes, they hold their shape, which prevents electrolytes from leaking, but they're also flexible which makes them great for a number of portable battery applications. Because they can be made into any shape, GPEs have a lot of physical contact with the current producing electrodes, and the electrolytes inside have a very high conductivity. Additionally, GPEs are not very flammable, despite containing flammable organic liquid chemicals. This makes them extremely safe compared to conventional electrolytes. So with gel polymer electrolytes, we have their applications. Here we have a flexible electronic device, and using the gel's flexible property and its intrinsic chemical properties, we can improve the safety and efficiency of these. With supercapacitors, we use gels of two different charges, and they can force the power through the capacitor at super high rate. And finally, with solar cells, gels aerate themselves and then can help improve the efficiency here. Dude, I got the biggest headache after I blew up last time when I drank that gator. You got anything better for me? Yeah, try the Gatorade too. They're gel polymer electrolytes. They're a lot safer.